Hey everyone and welcome back to another video, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can add your very own custom sub badges or sub emotes to your Twitch channel very very easy. So if you find this video helpful then make sure you leave a like in the video. And if you want to see more videos and tutorials just like this one then make sure you subscribe to the channel with the bell notifications on. Just with that said, let's get straight into the tutorial. And guys, obviously you need to be an affiliate or a Twitch partner to be able to add um, emotes and sub badges to your to your channel, basically. Um, but if you are an affiliate yet, if you are an affiliate, then you can just go to your right upper hand corner and basically be signed in, and click on your profile picture, and then click on the video studio panel or this with video studio. This will take you here, there are some very spicy features that you can do here, but that's not where, what we're going to be going through today. Uh, you want to click on preferences or whatever it says here, uh, and then click on affiliate or partner, depending on what you are basically. So I'm an affiliate, we'll click on affiliate, and this will take you to this to this menu where you can change a lot of things. You can change stuff from uh, your monetization settings, which obviously adds you know, a bit of sharing settings, a lot of stuff. But what, I, what, what I'm going to be going through now is the... Uh, is the emotes and to change emotes you just click on emotes this the emotes tab and this will take you to this page here you can see your different tiers for emotes or different levels whatever and how many places you, or how many emotes you can have on each tier so uh, depends on all it all depends on your uh, how many subscriptions you have so for example here it says that if you get 15 subscriptions then you uh, get one more emote slot for tier one. I'm, I'm not streaming on Twitch anymore, so I don't have any subscriptions. But maybe you have some, so just just keep in mind that of that. And to upload a new picture or a new emote that I suppose you have on your computer, then you just click on edit here, and you scroll down to whatever whatever tier you want to what you want that the certain emote to be on. And remember, guys, that the emote that you have on your computer, the picture of your emote, can't be one over one megabyte. So if it is more, then Twitch will say no, you can't upload this. So just just keep that in mind, guys. So here there are the two options: simple and advanced. We go over to advanced. This is the original way to upload emotes, and here you need to have three different emote sizes. 28 by 28, 56 by 56, and 112 times 112. And if you select an, an advanced, guys, I don't suggest that you do that. But if you do for some reason, then the max file size for the your picture, your remote, is only 25. KB. I'm not sure how to pronounce that on English, the whole word, but anyways. So basically for advanced, you can change your the sizes for your emotes uh, either in your video or your picture editing software, or you can maybe a website that is that you think, think know is safe. Um, I can leave a link to one in the description so you guys basically know where to go. The, the scale them down to these upload so let's say here we have your 28 by 28 one you upload it and then the and then the 56 one then 112 one then once you've done that you type in your unique code for it so basically if you put your mouse on the emote in a chat then it, this this code will say it will say this, this code basically uh, let's say unique code I don't know we do one two three here starks two one two three when you're done with your unique code, you click on save changes. And now, obviously, I have not uploaded a picture or anything, no emote at all, so I can't click it. I can't click there, but yeah. Now, simple is the one that I really recommend you use, because then you don't have to scale down the size of the picture to anything. Actually, all you gotta do is click on the plus sign here, and then upload the picture that you want to add as your remote. Make sure that it is under one megabyte the picture. And then Twitch will downscale the size of the emote to the sizes that I just mentioned to you guys before. So let's say that you wanted this picture as your emote and you hit open and wait for it to load. Then here it, Twitch will, uh, as, you, as I said before, automatically make a downscale it so you can preview it here. And if you feel like you're, you're, you like it, then you type your unique code again, Twitch, and save changes. Now basically do the same process in TR2 tier 3 and uh, then you will have twitch emotes for all your subscriptions tiers but now we're thinking 
Hey Starks, how do I get a sub badge on my channel? Well, it's very simple. Just go out of the emote settings and click on loyalty badges. It will take you to this page and I've got some pretty, pretty weird loyalty badges or sub badges. But basically what this is, is uh, it is a emote or badge that will be placed next to to the left of a person's name if they are sub so uh, if they are a sub depending on how long they've been a subscriber the uh, the emote or the loyalty badge will change uh, to the custom emotes that you have s selected so i have my here for a little egg and a little dragon that becomes a bigger dragon for, uh, as a lot for a lot the longer you subscribe for so to add your sub badges or to change your sub badges to then you go to handle badges or whatever it says here and you select which month or which time that you want to change the badges from. So uh, from, I'd suggest I really recommend to have a badge from from the first month so they get a little, a little feeling of that subs subscription power, you know. And uh, here we can do the same thing. Unfortunately, at sub badges there isn't a the, the simple simple option that you can just upload a picture. So you'll have to scale down the pictures from. And as I said before, I'll I'll try to find a website that you can use to scale down the the pictures. Otherwise, you can use some sort of picture editors like Pixelr. I don't know Photo P. Um, or maybe Photoshop even and then you can just as uh, as you did before you uh, you add them I'm gonna take away this one you add them in uh, depending on what size they are so mostly this one is 18 size this one is the 36 size and this one is the 72 size then you hit upload basically and your sub badges will be uploaded to your channel now then you do the same thing with all the other ones to for t a three month subscription a two month subscription a six month subscription and partners they get e badges for even two to eight years <laughs> that is crazy but anyways i hope this helps guys if it did then please be sure to leave a like on the video and if you want to see more videos just like this i want to make sure you subscribe to the channel with the bell and notifications on that would mean very much with if you if you have any questions then then make sure you drop them in the comment section down below i maybe missed some missed something who knows so uh yeah with that said see you next video storks out